to say hello in many ways. All around the world, there are many different ways people say hello to one another. Let's visit a few countries and learn some right now. Welcome to Merry Old England, my chum. You certainly are very friendly. Let's cross the English Channel and learn a different way to say hello. Now we're in France, where you'll find the Eiffel Tower. In France, many people speak French. How do we say hello to Mickey in France? Bonjour, Mickey. Very nicely done, apprentice. Now follow me over the Alps. We'll visit a new country. Welcome to Italy. And its famous leading tower of Pisa. In Italy, many people speak Italian. Now do we say hello to Mickey in Italy? Salve, Topolino! Bravo! In Italian, Mickey is called Topolino. Let's sail across the Mediterranean Sea. Now we're in Egypt. The land of the ancient pyramids. I sure hope you ask your mummy for permission to travel. In Egypt, many people speak Arabic. How do we say hello to Mickey? Soon you'll be a champion greeter all around the world. Please follow me through the desert to another country. Welcome to India. Apprentice, it's like music to my ears. Now we'll travel across the Himalayas, the highest mountain range in the world. We are now in Japan, a country made up of many islands. In Japan, many people speak Japanese. How do we say hello to Mickey in Japan? You're becoming quite an international expert. And over the Pacific Ocean we go. I'm a little tired out from the journey, but there's no time for our siesta. We've made it to Mexico, where we'll find Mayan ruins like this one. In Mexico, many people speak Spanish. How do we say hello? to Mickey in Mexico. Hola, Mickey. Great! Get ready, apprentice. We're heading north to the last stop on our language adventure. We're now in the United States of America. suspected as much. In fact, this time, I think I'm going to say hello, Mickey. Great job, apprentice. Now, let's say hello to our story and follow Mickey on a grand adventure as he travels around the world. 